In a nutshell, my thesis may prevent the next world war. Many experts have foreseen that the next global conflict will actually take place in our own backyard in the South China Sea. The South China Sea, as you know, is at the crossroads of the world's economy today. Billions and billions of dollars worth of commodities flow northwards from countries like Australia and elsewhere into the hungry economies of Japan, China, Korea, and, and finished goods from these same countries flow southwards and eastwards to the rest of the world, making the South China Sea some of the busiest sea lanes in the world. The South China Sea also holds a promise of vast amounts of natural gas which could power these hungry economies. I say promise because no one really knows for sure. For the last 25 years, there's been very, very little exploration activities taking place in the South China Sea. The reason for this is very simple. Oil and gas exploration is a very time-consuming and extremely expensive affair. It costs billions of dollars and takes lots of time. The world's energy companies are reluctant to invest this time and capital until they know that their licenses are legally secure. The South China Sea, as you can see from the map behind me, does not offer that, that uh, comfort. The countries that border the South China Sea all have overlapping claims over the South China Sea. This has obviously caused a lot of conflict and a lot of tension, as we all read about in the papers. The root of this uh, the overlapping claims come from the UN Law of the Sea. The UN Law of the Sea, which all these countries have ratified, grants countries a 200 nautical mile exclusive economic zone from their shorelines. It also grants this to inhabitable, undisputed islands. It does not, however, grant the same right to what they call rocks. The treaty does not differentiate between rocks and islands. You can see also on the map behind me, the South China Sea is littered with all these features. This has led to a mad rush of countries all over the South China Sea, setting up camps on these islands and calling, uh, camps on these features and calling them islands and thus claiming the exclusive economic zone. My thesis will try to understand the limitations of the UN law of the sea, understand the historical basis where these companies, these countries are basing their claims, and most importantly, provide a solution which I think can actually work to diffuse the tensions. The solution is based on a model that we in Australia are, should be quite familiar with, which is the treaty between Australia and East Timor called the Joint Development Area. This looks at an economic contractual solution between two countries who agreed to put aside their, their boundary disputes in favor of solving the, and unlocking the natural gas. In theory, my, 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 in, my thesis will propose model laws that each of these countries can accept. It will propose a timeline which then we can help to negotiate the boundary disputes while taking out the, out of the equation the natural gas and hopefully make the world a more peaceful place. Thank you.